Greetings. Today we're going to be discussing the American Childhood Cancer Organization and how they could benefit from using a thought leadership strategy. The goals for this presentation is to evaluate the ACCO's mission, evaluate what strengths they have, and what applying a thought leadership strategy can do to improve their already established strengths and objectives. More children pass away from cancer in the United States than any other disease. The ACCO provides funding and support to families and children battling cancer. With so much on the line for so many children and their families, focusing on new ideas to better the organization by, having, by using a thought leadership strategy could help the ACCO complete their mission tremendously. The ACCO's mission statement is to provide information and support for children and adolescents with cancer and their families. They consider themselves a grassroots organization that leads through advocacy and awareness, and they support research that will lead to a cure for all children diagnosed with cancer. Many families and their children diagnosed with cancer are not financially prepared for the treatment that is necessary. The ACCO is aware of the financial burden many families will face and a portion of the funding goes towards helping these families. The ACCO believes that no child should be left out of reach of the treatment they will need. As you can see from the statistics in the slide, that 11.9% of families with a child with cancer will spend more than $10,000 annually to take care of the, their child. 75.7% .7 of the families with a child with cancer will have at least one parent who needs to cut back on work or stop working altogether. 83.5% of families with a child with cancer will experience some level of financial hardship. 67.3% of families with a child with cancer have insurance through a parent's employer. The ACCO began as a small group of parents called the Candlelighters. They bonded and bonded on the shared experience of watching their children battle for their lives against deadly disease. The group started in 1968 with just 25 members. Their goal was to lobby Congress for funding and to open up new research on childhood cancer. Grass Roots leadership and organization got them to the point where they could effectively make an impact on the problem and sway the government to address childhood cancer. But perhaps the greatest impact their leadership had made was the reaching out to support all families in need. From, grass, from a grassroots organization to a national organization, the ACCO had led the way to gaining support for their cause. Their, their step into the national level was a milestone marked by joining the American Cancer Society. With such great success leading a grass, grassroots organization to the national level, the ACCO is making a bigger impact than they had ever thought was possible. But where do they go from here? Childhood cancer research still remains one of the lowest funded types of cancer in the United States. However, applying a thought leadership strategy to their already strong organizational structure, they can make an even larger impact to the funding and support for childhood cancer. What does thought leadership strategy do? Thought leadership enables a further reach. It creates longevity for the organization. It engages people and makes them aware. It creates a winning culture and helps gain attention to their cause. Why should the ACCO consider applying a thought leadership strategy? Thought leadership is coming up with a big impact idea establishing credit for, for the idea, and accomplishing the goal of implementing the ideas in the organization. The ACCO needs that leadership strategy so they can gain more support to help more families in need.
gain more funding so childhood cancer research can probably, probably be funded to make advancements in the treatment. The ACCO should also focus on developing new thought leaderships within their organization, which will ultimately help their longevity. And they should also keep their eye on the prize of their mission, which is helping families and children live a full and happy life. The American Childhood Cancer Organization considers themselves a grassroots organization. A grassroots organization is usually started by a leader or a small group of people who have large ideas. The idea spreads from person to person and the movement begins to take form. The American Childhood Cancer Organization has been doing this since 1968, and they have been doing it very well. But one strength they have is organizing fundraising events. By holding events such as the Strikeout Childhood Cancer Charity Event, they have been making a name for themselves, and people have been supporting their cause. Another strength they possess as an organization is connecting with the children and families in need of their support because nobody should have to go through a diagnosis, a diagnosis and a treatment alone. This is part of their mission and they, have been, and they are effective in supporting families in need. As a nonprofit organization, the ACCO is mostly funded through donations and fundraisers. Organizing fundraising events is the key to their organization's survival and completing their mission. The ACCO's strength is being able to raise the funds needed to accomplish their mission. Their leadership has come up with the ideas to invest what little funds they do have and turn it into a positive gain and make more awareness towards their cause. The ideas for fundraising events not only have to turn a profit, but they, have to ha they also have to be fun and inviting for donators to, to come. Fundraising is a strength that the ACCO has become good at, but a thought leadership strategy might turn these small grassroots fundraising events into something larger. Part of the ACCO's mission is, and one of their greatest strengths, is leading the way to supporting families in, needs, in need. Not every family knows that there is a national support organization out there waiting to help their child with cancer. The ACCO has done a great job reaching out and connecting to those who, ha who might be in need of help. The ACCO's leadership is intent on ensuing that nobody, no child, no family will face cancer alone. They offer support for everyone who is affected by childhood cancer. This organizational strength is one of their main objectives. That leadership strategy can make greater impact on the amount of people that they are connected to. The ACCO's current strategy of pushing out free information pamphlets could greatly be approved, on, approved upon. New idea, newer ideas like a social media campaign can be used to help connect people to their organization. Using a thought leadership strategy could make a huge impact on the ACCO's ability to raise funds and help accomplish their mission. By using a thought leadership strategy to develop other thought leaders, they can cultivate new ideas and new, and new ways of thinking in planning fundraising events. Being a national organization, the ACCO can find ways to break into the national spotlight. They can use the thought leadership strategy of gaining notoriety by going on television shows and allowing themselves to be interviewed by journalists. They need to push their cause beyond the grassroots level to the thought leadership level. If their mission is to gain more funding for childhood cancer research, they need to reach more people. Thought leadership strategy dictates that leaders need to draw attention to their ideas. The ACCO can use the media to draw more attention to their mission and use the attention to bring more funding in. The more attention they draw towards themselves, the more support and credibility they will gain. By developing a thought leadership, 
by developing thought leadership within their organization, they can improve upon the strengths of fundraising. Here we can visually see the impact made if the ACCO were to adopt thought leadership strategy. One of the ACCO's biggest problems is they don't develop leaders within their organization. This is in part because most of them are volunteers. However, the leadership of the ACCO can change their strategy and start developing lead thought leaders for the future. By creating thought leaders in their organization, they will have a more capable they will be more capable in the future of childhood cancer fundraising and support. Thought leaders aren't afraid to think outside the box and they find ways to increase their cause by bringing attention to themselves. In this chart, we can see how developing an internal thought leadership program will impact the rest of their organization. The impact to the ACCO through, the, through a new established thought leadership strategy would be a large step up from the grassroots organization they currently have. By developing thought leaders within the organization and applying the strategies of thought leadership to their already developed strengths and objectives, they will be able to create more awareness for their cause. Thought leadership strategy would be a perfect fit for the American Childhood Cancer Organization. They have a huge mission and drawing people to, to support their cause is one of the fundamental strategies to thought leadership organization. To conclude this presentation, Applying a thought leadership, leadership strategy to one of is one way the ACCO can elevate their organization's objectives. Thought leadership will help the ACCO gain more funding, connect more people, create more awareness for childhood cancer, and develop future thought leaders in their organization.